So we've just bought some new crypts. Congratulations, they are wicked cool little plants. Uh, in this video, we're just going to run through a couple of wee tips to help you make sure they thrive for you when you first get them. Crypts are notorious for melting. A really easy way of helping avoid that. Getting some scissors, very literally, cutting off the leaves. Just like that is really going to help you avoid crip melt, give all the energy that the plant actually needs to start growing underwater in your aquarium. Next thing we need to do is rip this piece of lead off. It's going to restrict the plant growth, it's going to make life a little bit harder for it, so just take it off before you plant it in your aquarium. Last but not least, we're going to trim off some of these roots. Just nick them off like so. It's going to make planting a lot easier because there's not as much root to go in the ground. It's not going to affect the plant at all. Easy as. Now when it comes to planting, just get our plant in our tweezers. These are Aquarium Frenzy brand, use any one you want. Plant it in a deep enough bit of substrate, just try and keep that crown nicely out of the uh, substrate just like that. And we are done. Too easy. In a couple of weeks time your crypt will be bedded in really nicely and then it's as simple as adding some decent root fertilizer to the substrate if you don't have a rich substrate. Something as simple as the JBL balls, the API root tabs, seroflurinate, stick them up underneath the cryptocrine. Uh, they absolutely love you for it, they'll gravitate to the root balls, the root tabs, whatever you want to call them and they'll draw all the nutrients that they need from it from there. Nice and simple. There you go, hopefully that was a nice quick and easy uh, little video to help you run through when you're buying some cryptocurrencies. Uh, it really does help to cut the leaves off them and trim the roots a little bit before you plant them. Make sure your substrate's deep enough, chuck them in, let them go, give them a couple of weeks and feed them up with root balls. They're a very, very undemanding plant, but they're a very, very cool piece of species of plants, so I really recommend them. Absolutely one of my favourite families of, um, of plants for sure, without any doubt. There we go, have a good one team, happy fish keeping, catch you later.